Hey guys, welcome back. This is Braddock's of Braddock's Gaming coming to you today with another Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. We are started as Wales. We are now Britannia. Uh, we are going to finish this video. So <clears throat> if I can't pull an hour out of what I'm about to do, then we'll probably take a couple more. What's going on here? Star. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's go to murder her. Let's see who we can invite into the scheme. Get myself going. So what I'm going to do here. Hmm. Take a look. All right. Ten thousand. Okay, we will wait on that. Vastly inferior. Okay, let's go ahead and declare this war real fast. Probably won't need to run the whole thing, but we're going to run up here with these few. I'll bring one extra up there. This one right here, we can go ahead and dismiss. Okay, let's let that roll. So, as this game is coming to an end, I think I can do stuff like this significantly faster in the future. So, like I said, I haven't played the game a, a whole ton. But I'm pretty sure I can do this entire conquest like half the time. I'm probably not going to play from here again, though. I think uh, I'll probably do something down south. Go ahead and disband this army. My martial perk. Let's go ahead and go with that. That's my age, anyways. Six okay. Let's see. Divine right is what I'm working on. These are slowly filling in on their own. Shit. That's a waste. Let me go ahead and hold a feast. I don't need to modify that contract. Um, we'll leave my daughter out right now. Okay, we'll become friends twice. That would be fine. Let's see. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm kind of a blabbermouth, it looks like. <clears throat> oh, we got people up the ass that have all sorts of uh, 
shit against me, so. Okay, let's look at my vassals. Let's see who needs a little love. Let's go ahead and work on him for a while. Who's Gwen? Okay. We're just going to disband this other army. So I've got my gold rolling in. I think another thing in my future games is I'll try to consecrate the bloodline much earlier than I have recently, so or tried to. I'm already swaying him, so that'll be fixed soon enough. Let me actually look at my books and secrets here. Well, that's nice. He's a fornicator, so. Well, we'll have to take a look at what the child ends up like. <clears throat> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Out screwing around. fucked up all right let me get more military up I go back north we bring him up here too I might actually be able to finish.
There he is. Go over and halt that process. Actually, let's look at my council real fast and see what they're doing. We got some culture to keep changing here. So. Let's have them just support schemes for the time being. Bring him up here. Argyle. Okay. <clears throat> Not quite there. About a hundred more for a bloodline. Okay, what am I missing? <clears throat> Well, I'm not too worried about him at this point. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and disband this army. We'll just go place him like right over here. Let him sit for a while. Okay. Got a little booby there we'll have to edit out. Okay. <clears throat> Is that actually part of Scotland? No, it's Kingdom of Norway. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and disband all. I think he... We can declare war on her again. Yeah, that'll be fine. Dread nice and high. High as I can keep it. Keeps keeps these bitches in order. Okay. Why aren't these guys really marching yet? Let's go ahead and he's going. Bring out another five thousand over here. Just drop these two. How do I become obese? I'm losing weight. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I shouldn't be obese. somebody beefcake in front here 
I guess it'll be fine. I'll take this. Take this one, this one, and this one. This one. I think I'm holding a couple territories that I don't need my hands on. So, what was the last? I think that's the last one, right? Yeah. Okay, let me make sure I edit out all these boobies later on. She's an Adamite. Okay, let me imprison her. Okay, let's go ahead and revoke her titles. I wonder if I can just get her completely out. Guess not. Okay, though well, that gives me the opportunity to grant this title to another one of my kids, I think. Or I can give it to her husband. Or one of her kids. How about that? Yeah, this will be good. Where the fuck is he at? Kind of firm mouth. Okay, so not him. What about her? will be fine. Give him Devon and Corn or Cornwall and Devon. Perfect. And then him. We will just hold him off for right now. I need to, wish I could revoke hers, but I can't. Let me go ahead and grant, ah, oh, shit. You look at my succession anyways. Okay. I wish I could revoke his fucking titles, but I made him an ally, so. Okay, uh, absolute control.
What's his problem anyways? He wants to see it on the council. Oh, my offensive wars. Tough titty. Yeah, I need to actually stop the offensive wars here pretty quick. Actually, probably a lot of my vassals are probably getting pissed. Yeah, pretty much just him, it looks like. Yeah, this will have to be my last offensive war for a while. I'll have to let that drop. Keep getting fat for some reason, even though I'm trying to lose weight. What happened there? Huh. That's interesting. Well, we have really high problems with offensive force right now, so this video will take a little longer than what I thought. I wouldn't go to you anyways. <clears throat> I think I start making new regiments. Is force partitioned. We'll get him on there. Okay. Certainly, I can't claim on Norfolk so I can take my other son out of the game. Can't do it again. Okay. Be a big fat boy. Okay, we can, um, Resilient Bloodline. Let's go ahead and go on the hunt.
sign him for right now. Hmm. I'll finance it. I'm not going to go over there and fight. Now this little bastard. It really doesn't have any leg to stand on here, but if he's going to be a little cunt, he's going to have some serious problems. Okay, I have Overseer now. Okay. My health is starting to fail, so let's rack up some gold. starting to produce kids. Let's get him out of here. Genius or Amazonian bust. I don't have any of those. This one does, though. Wow, well, look at her. Okay, we're just going to rack up gold and get ready for the transition. I'm going to die eventually, so I'm going to um, Yeah, I'm not trusting that. Okay. I don't think I have any more people that are mad at me right now. All right, I'm at a 10. We'll wait a little longer and then we'll grab the rest of these. <clears throat> or try to.
He's got some gold. He's got some prestige, too. He doesn't have a claim on mine, which is great. Leave her sitting in prison. Let me get some marriages arranged here. Fine. That'll be fine. Okay, <clears throat> took care of a lot of the domestics. I don't think I'll get that far, but we'll see. Okay, he's fully swayed. Let's go ahead and start swaying this guy. Okay. Yeah, offensive war is at negative one. Um, who's at war with them right now? Okay. Let's see. Looks about right. We'll just give it to him. It'll be fine. Up here. 
declare another war. Same with here. And we'll do that one afterwards. Okay, let's raise our entire armies. The whole thing. Try to go smash all of these at once. one worst demands so be it Peasant revolt. Where's the peasant revolt at? Oh, down there. Oh, I, I think we can just march him right back down. There's another one. Worst demands. So be it. Demands, so be it. Let's put somebody with sieging on here if we can. There is nobody. Okay, just put him on there. Okay, Scotland is now done with as soon as we grab this. But we'll see if I die. Wow. <laughs> I gained small I'm disfigured, but I don't have smallpox, so we'll see. Okay, smallpox is outbreaking really bad in my country, so there may be some uh, people that definitely die here. Go 
Okay, Scotland is completely completed and done. Yeah. Who is she at war with right now? Oh, looks like Ireland's going to take it. A lot of disfigured people in my family right now. It looks like she's saving a bunch of them. more I don't think there's any way I'm gonna make that it'll be close okay It looks like uh, this will be taken care of here in just a moment. And the Britannia will be completed. Seventeen thousand. Pregnant again. Let's see a son. Come on, give me a son. Okay. Family hierarchy. Let's take fertility for right now. We'll stick with that. Okay, I'm a 12 out of 7. Okay, let me go to my courts. Let's see. Through to court. Court position. Okay, that's done. Council. So 
be fine. Him there. Put him there. Manage domain puts me at 12 out of 9 out of 12. Okay. 12 out of 9. Okay, so I'm way over to my domain limit right now. We'll be able to bury these guys really quick. Okay, let's search for dynasty, mine, ruler, unlanded, not ruler, religion needs to be Catholicism, culture, whatever, claims, whatever. Okay. Let's do that again. And let's see if any of them are content. There we go. Gerald and Desmond. And that should shut down that entire faction. I can deal with the rest of them. <clears throat> Okay, let's look at my brother. Okay. There we go. Britannia is complete. So that was the goal, was to completely bring the British Isles together. Um, looks good. So, uh, you know, that's going to be it for this series. Um, 
I'm going to continue playing. I still got 300 years to go. So now that I'm, you know, huge and chunky and I've gotten pretty much everything under control and I'm going to start uh, picking up other kingdoms and I will uh, solidify my power. So the goal is to uh, get past, you know, all the uh, issues with... Um, the succession problems and then i will move forward from there so ultimately i'm going to take my um succession into the primo jared and uh, generator whatever it is and um yeah i'll probably go to high partition at some point But yeah, no, that wasn't bad. You know, it's a uh, completely, you know, complete conquering. And I, like I said, I could have probably done it faster, but I didn't. And, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. But really, I'm at a good point right now. I mean, I got some pieces all over the map here. Um, I could go through and conquer Frisia. And, um... Maybe establish Francia or something. Or Germania. But I'm probably what I'm going to do is go... Probably going to grab these isles. Um, you know, maybe push into Norway and establish Norway all the way. Um, establish that entire kingdom. Get these guys under control. Either that or I'm going to push straight into Frisia. Uh, Brittany and then West Francia. Maybe get this one too. Just maybe I'll push right into here and establish a conquest right into the central European areas. Push down and deal with with this. So they've 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 really established down here. That's a nightmare though to take over because it's all Muslim. So. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the game, I'm going to be uh, doing another one here at some point. So uh, I got my romance ga uh, game should be going. I've, I've recorded these way, way, way before uh, the next series of romance. So, um, but I'm going to I'm going to keep recording this. I'm also thinking about doing a Stellaris run through. Uh, it's also another one of my favorite games. So keep an eye out for that here in the future at some point so go ahead like subscribe leave a comment below and let me know what you think take it easy okay guys i got a little treat for you here at the end of the video i have continued playing our game and uh this is the wells part of the wells campaign that i did and we are literally a couple months from the end of the uh end of the game so it has been 585 years. We started in 867. It is now 1452. The game is going to end very shortly here. And we have created the Roman Empire. Um, you can see here that there's some rebellions and stuff going on, but I control almost the complete Mediterranean. Besides this little duchy or this little uh, county right here, that little uh, thing, I didn't. it wasn't able to get in time. But and the reason why we have revolts down here is because I just took all this over. So I just want to give you guys kind of an update of where this all went. So after I established the Britain Empire, um, I went ahead and moved into Flanders, Brittany, and France. Took over all this area. Uh, started working my way over here into uh, the Germanic areas. Took a big chunk of all this over and then went north. Took all of this over. And then I collapsed in on um, Italy, Spain, and all of uh, Eastern Europe. Finally took out the Byzantine Empire, took them over completely, kept moving in, took over Russia, this uh, Russian area. Uh, then I started moving in. During a couple crusades, I was able to uh, establish my dynasty down here, which I ended up claiming these thrones and taking them over. 
I finally moved in and took out all the Islamic uh, counties and countries in Spain, reestablished uh, Spain, and um, went through and conquered Northern Africa. So these were some of the last areas I took after I took out the Byzantine Empire, which did take quite a long time to actually get in and take them out. But uh, definitely by the time I got over here, I was so powerful, nothing could stop me. Uh, I did take over Iceland. It was a little later. I just kind of let them hang out for quite a while. But um, yeah, this is where we sit. We have almost, almost 500,000 troops, uh, 464,000. Uh, I produce 800 gold per month. I have 142,000 gold. Um, I'm to the point now where, you know, every one of my guys gets uh, maxed out on everything. Uh, my dynasty, of course, is Ebrook, uh, which is uh, the one we started with. Um, we almost, whoops, I just opened the dynasty tree. This may take a second. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. So as you can see, my dynasty is uh, ginormous. I mean, this is, we literally control basically the entire map. I have 7,119 living members, 267 houses. Our legacies, I uh, was able to complete one of them, which is the blood legacy. I almost completed a couple others, but didn't quite get there. So, but uh, you know, we filled this out very nice. Then Catholicism is basically dominant on the map. You can see here, these were some of my late stuff. There were a few holdouts over here in Spain that I never got around to getting rid of. Um, we did have this heresy pop up. Um, Orthodox is still kind of around, but I did um, mend the Great Schism in this process. So most Orthodoxy has uh, been completely demolished um, and established as a heresy now. So there's a few remnants of it around, not very much. Um, Catholicism is definitely the dominant uh, religion on the map. Culture is a different story. Um, you know, it takes way, way, way too long to establish um, the cultures. So uh, most of England, a big chunk here, down here is some Welch culture. Um, Rome is... Uh, Welch, so is a nice little chunk of um, the Byzantine Empire. You got some up here and stuff like that, but of course, you know, it's really hard to wipe out a lot of the uh, other cultures, so you just have to kind of go with it. It's a little hard, but um, as far as, you know, all my uh, technology levels and stuff, you know, we grabbed a vast majority of them. So there's some of these cultural and regionals that I didn't get, but I got all the main ones way a long time ago. Um, yeah, my house is definitely the dominant house because I think there are very few houses that are not of my, not of my house. So, you know, with 7,000 members, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty widespread. Of course, my guys are, you know, Beautiful, genius, Herculean, uh, the whole the whole shebang, consecrated bloodline. So um, I got the Augustus trait when I reformed the the Roman Empire, which was done not too long ago. And that's really a about it. I mean, it's you know, it was uh, my goal was to conquer all of Europe. I ended up conquering a little more. Um, you know, got the Roman Empire established, which was really fun. I knocked out a lot of stuff. I'm trying to think of if there was anything else I ended up doing. I learned a lot. Um, one of the problems I had, which I currently have right now, is I have way too many vassals because I created a lot of these little small uh, kingdoms just to get them out of the way, which I wish I hadn't done. Um, you know, I wish I would have, um, you know, instead of creating, you know, like five kingdoms right here, I would have created just one big kingdom. But to keep all my guys in line, I kept uh, making sure that they were force partitioned. That way, um, you know, I didn't have any guys that were too powerful when um, my succession came. So... 
occasionally I get little revolts and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all of it. Um, you know, I went through with my my trees. Um, you know, in the early game, I used a lot of stewardship, and then I went on to a learning build with a lot of my guys just to push technology. Um, I never really went into intrigue. I did a lot of diplomacy so I could get um, uh, fabricate claims and force vassalage. I did a lot of force vassalage, um, especially over here. Uh, if you remember early on in the game, this was pretty much all just hundreds of little um, counties and duchies and stuff. And I went into a forced vassalage and uh, a lot got a lot of vassals just for them, you know, wanting to be my vassal. And I ended up conquering, I think, most of, you know, the Germanic and Russian uh, areas in, oh, just a few years. I took a big chunk of this really quickly. Uh, I really got slowed down up in this area uh, when I started moving into the Byzantine Empire. I ended up taking Rome from the Pope for quite a while, um, just so I had a uh, really strong... Um, money gaining point uh and it really helped I, I took this over from the pope and he was not landed for a long time and then i reseated the pope so yeah but that's it we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna hit play and we will end the game together the providence of germania I'm just going to skip everything else. It's a it's a pretty beautiful little map there. I don't like the pink as much, but it was uh definitely definitely uh real nice, you know, it looks looks good. I could have probably moved much more into nor uh, northern Asia, but Okay, the end date has been reached. So let's go ahead and let's show lineage here. Let me see an easy way to move it over. So here are all the, we'll start from the beginning here. So this was uh, my founding. 13 years, 30 years, 25 years, 26 years, 50 years. I remember playing this guy a lot. Twenty-four years, twenty-two years, twenty-five, forty-four. This was uh my female, the one I had in there. Forty-three years. Here was another Empress. For 32 years. This was, um, I ended up getting a lot of dread during this. This was a very, very strong point in my, um, in my, uh, point of, uh, in my growth here. <clears throat> so, see a lot of scholarship and diplomacy uh this was a marshall point yeah scholarship a lot of scholarship then this is where i kind of stuck him into diplomacy for a long time so 18 played where was my Uh, see, so, you know, I only went to learning for one just to push through. I should have gone a few more, I think. That was a mistake I made. I wasn't... I wasn't a sinner. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, see, you can see I, I created the Empire of Britannia, or the Roman Empire right after here. So that's it. 
that's that's the entirety of this game you know 18 guys started off here with uh the duchy of Gwynedd. moved all the way to the roman empire so all right guys y'all take it easy i'm glad you uh, stayed around just to watch this little clip and see where this game went have a good day